The news of being sent as campus pastors to Hope UC East came as a surprise to us this year. So we decided to move closer to the church community where we can serve them better. It was during this time that we searched intently for two months without any success. And as time passed, we grew a little stressed, but eventually we believed that God would provide for our needs just in time. We had a few basic requirements, cupboards, parking space, a spacious hall, western washrooms, and no idols. It was so hard to find a house with all of our requirements, and when we did, the house owners closed their door on us. Most of the places we approached declined to let out their houses because we were Christians. It was during this time that the church community offered their help. We were so blessed to see their outpouring of love and it strengthened our hope. We had one week to vacate our previous flat and we didn't want to end up homeless. At this point, we decided to make concessions to our requirements and move into any flat we could find and if there were idols in it, we decided to cover them up with scriptures or wallpapers. During one of my daily devotions from Ezekiel 40, I realized that God was very interested in the intricate details of his temple. So I questioned him as to why he was not interested in my details and we couldn't find a house with our requirements. Then God spoke to me and said, why do you want to compromise on your requirements? I am interested in every little detail of yours. Two days before we were required to vacate our previous house, we discovered a new house which belonged to people of another faith. They were willing to rent it out to us and it provided for all the descriptions that we mentioned previously. In fact, that was precisely what we asked God for. He provided and He met all our needs just in time. After we moved into the house, I asked God to fill this new place with His peace. He spoke to me and gave us a promise from Haggai 2.9. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house and in this place I will grant peace. Through this process, God showed us His purposes for sending us here. Matthew 9.37 says, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We sincerely covet your prayers as we help and serve the local church and also help the community around us to belong, believe and become. I'm Yasha and my wife Ruth. These are our children, Liz and Zane. And this is our story of hope.